Hello, this is Tate with Black Brow Doors, blackbrowdoors.net. We're here in our mini greenhouse, which is just basically a shelf with plastic over the top. It allows it to be zipped open and closed. We have our dual fans in here. This helps circulate CO2 and air and helps stimulate the plant's growth and strengthen the stalks on the tomatoes. We have two lights in here, one on each side. It's kind of hard to see on this side, but we've actually popped those in because it is going to be, even though we're out here in the sun, right, right now it's basically raining every single day. So we don't have a lot of sunlight for the next couple weeks, so we're going to add the light to add a little bit of heat to them and to help them with actually using the, uh, the generator we've just put in here. Now our generator we put down low, and it is still doing the same thing like it was before, where we have our it's kind of hard to see. We'll see if we can get it to bubble a little bit. You can see there, a couple bubbles just come up and every... So it's still working, and I do like that. Now this second chamber we put in here is in there because we do get a little bit... It keeps, if any there is any of the flow of the yeast or anything else that gets through, it will dump into there instead of dumping onto our fan. And we do get a little alcohol production out of this system that we want to not get into the plants. So our secondary filter system here lets the hose run up and then the back of the fan, and it's just open right there. It's being sucked through the fan and blown into the plants. And our second fan over here helps circulate that through the system to all our different bays here. Now this same system can be used on a fish tank. You just have to have an air emitter just one of the little tiny ones that you put on a air pump for a fish tank and that you want to stick all the way to the bottom now with CO2 in the open like this it is a gas heavier than air so it will fall so if you don't have the fans which I do really recommend the fans I've actually seen quite a little bit of jump in my plants they're doing quite a little bit better than my inside plants just by having that extra drop on top of having the fans now, if I didn't have those, I'd want to mount my emitter all the way up to the top and let it circulate down through the system. But I really, if you can, grab a couple little fans. They don't have to be anything special. These are just some junker fans I had laying around that work great for this purpose. And they really do help to stimulate the plants, get the, the CO2 flowing through here. Now, a couple other things, like I said, I used basically just some simple, complex, compact fluorescent light bulbs some really simple fans and we I have a to make it a little bit more scientific I have a thermometer you know humidity control here and our CO2 pump or generator down at the bottom and now actually more of my plants will be coming here pretty quick there's still a lot of them are inside in our seed growing area underneath our grow lights so if you guys have any questions about this it was a really super simple, easy build, and we've already think I think we've already seen a little bit of growth just from running this as it is right now. So this system will run about a week to two weeks like this. Just come out here every day and see if you're getting that same flow, about that one or about the three to five second bubble. If you're still getting that, then the CO2 generator is still working. If it stopped. You just got to redo it, and it just takes a you know pennies to really fire it back up again once it's all set. So have a great day. My name is Tate, BlackBrowDoors.net. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call.